Hello everybody. Well, you've seen one of these before on my channel, the Electrolux 502. But after I unboxed it and showed you it initially, I took a closer look and there was some uh, considerable damage near the handle, which would only get worse if I was to use the machine. So I saw another one on eBay quite cheaply and I thought I'll get another one. Hopefully this one will be fine and then from the parts of the broken Electrolux or the one that uh, is cracked, I can get one decent, fingers crossed, Electrolux 502, which was a childhood vacuum cleaner that I remember my mum having. So let's see if this is any in any better condition. It's not in very good boxes, so hopefully it's survived. And this one's also been packed with its handle folded over. I'll just hack away at the box. Ah, well, it's it's got lots of internal packaging. Oh, lots of dirty internal packaging because, yeah. Hmm. Right then, that's filthy. Now somebody suggested to me. In, in a recent comment that they knew someone that caught the CV the <coughs> you know I don't have to spell it out do I I'm making this video in uh, March 2021 and we're still under restrictions because of the <coughs> anyway somebody suggested to me that uh, a relative of theirs bought a vacuum off eBay and caught that particular virus from the vacuum Okay, well, <laughs> I've had it. So I think the chances of me catching that from this vacuum are pretty nil. I might get a bit of dust in my lungs, but I don't think all the years I've been mucking about with filthy vacuums and vacuum dirt, I don't think this is gonna cause me much harm unless it blows up. I've already seen a problem with it, but... Uh... But as this is going to be used as a spares machine, I will take, it is filthy, filthy. <laughs> I'm making the same mistake for followers of my channel. You know that this is a fairly new carpet and I opened, you haven't seen it yet, but I opened a Hoover commercial celebrity recently and it has a permanent cloth bag that was full of muck and it looked, I, I think, it must have had coal dust in it. You get coal dust into a, a long pile carpet and it's very hard to remove. I've got most of it out, but it's still there a little bit. I should have actually opened it and cleaned up the machine on an old piece of carpet or a rug. But anyway, I should have learned my lesson. This plug looks a bit modern for this uh, Electrolux 502 because it's got the insulated pins. And the plug is made in Hong Kong. It is a fairly old plug, because most plugs now will say made in China on them. Okay, well, I think that's everything. I'm not sure if this had the instruction book with it. I don't think so. No, I do have the instruction book for an Electrolux 502. Okay, I'll clear up the packaging give this a bit of a wipe because it is i'll take it into the kitchen actually give it a bit of a wipe and we'll have a look to see if it survived the journey under this dirt it does look like it could be in better condition than the one i've got we'll soon find out when i clean it up anyway i'll clean this mess up and then we'll have a closer look at this electrolux 502. okay welcome to take two i've just recorded all this segment and then realized I hadn't switched the microphone back on. So, <laughs> you'd think I'd know how to do this after so many years, but we still make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. Fortunately, I edit all those out for you, so. <laughs> right, okay, let's carry on. Here it is, looking a lot, lot cleaner than it did a moment ago. All I've done is sprayed some elbow grease kitchen cleaner all over the machine, wiped it with a damp cloth, and dried it with a tea towel. That's all I've done, and that's all I'm going to do for now, because as I said, this is going to be a spares machine. Out of the two 502s I've got, 
I'm going to mix and match, swap over bits until I have one 502 I'm happy with. Well, happy for now. If I can find one in even better condition, then I'll get that and then I'll sell this one. So, even though I get machines I like, I st I'm still always on the lookout for one that's slightly better to keep in the collection. But this will have to do for now. First thing I've noticed, well, I think I showed you earlier. Can't remember if I told you this bit, but the mains cable has been repaired. And it's one of those very bad repairs. The original user has just put some sellotape of all things over a split and I can just about see the, the blue neutral wire. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So as a repair they just put some normal sellotape. Now you could make a temporary repair using correct electrical insulating tape but even so I wouldn't recommend that being a permanent repair but it's quite a common sight any of you who buy old vacuum cleaners it's very common to see black tape or even worse sellotape around the cord and you can see here it's obviously been under a lot of strain because it's quite distorted so what's happened here the custom has been a bit vigorous when winding up the cable on the cleaner wrapping it up very tightly you can see look that's where the brake is so they've wrapped it up very tightly can you imagine the number of times this was wrapped up and put away quite a lot and it's caused the cable to snap now the cable the the brake is fairly near the cleaner where it enters the machine at the top of the handle but that's nearly a meter and if i was to cut the cable and shorten it well it's a pretty short cable anyway as cleaners from this era seem to have quite short cables so I'm going to see if the cable on my other 502 is in better condition and use that. I did notice, I'm not too concerned because I think, I think that the 502 I have the handle or lower cable hook and handle carry handles in fine condition. This one has cracked in a couple of places but um, it's not as bad as having a crack in the main body which is where somewhere I think somewhere in the top handle there's quite a big crack on the one I had so that's why when I saw this quite cheaply I thought well I'll get this see if I can cobble together a decent machine out of the two. Now the main problem with this cleaner is it's changed colour considerably and not just in the place you expect. Yes this cleaner is a lot more of a yellowy green than it should be. I think Electrolux's official name for the colour of this machine was avocado green with dark brown trim. So it would have matched your lovely avocado suite in your 70s slash early 80s home. You'll see a different color when I recline the handle. It looks like I forgot to clean this part. And this part is nice and clean, but no, everything is as clean. This part is as clean as this part. Even so, I'm not sure even if that's the original color, but I think that is nearer the colour this cleaner should be. Look at the difference. I am going to try this this summer. I'm going to have another go at retro brighting. Um, I'm not sure how well it works on coloured plastics. I made a bit of a hash of my first attempt using um, sort of salon cream peroxide and I sort of painted it on, wrapped the parts up in cling film and left it in the sun. Well the cling film marked the parts and left a marble appearance. So I'm going to try a different method by putting peroxide into water and submerging the parts in the water and then putting it out in the sun and see if that works. It might take a bit longer but I think I'll hopefully get more even results. You can see this is completely wrong, the colour. It's not a very nice colour. This is certainly not the avocado. So yes, if you, it's, it's got, it seems to be three different colours. You can see that the bag housing looks different to the lower part as well, the, the motor hood. This is just like the one my mum had as it has the strip here in the front of the bag housing that goes all the way down to the bottom. If you remember from my previous 502 video, it sort of stops here and then there's a gap and then there's a sort of a sticky out bit, whatever that bit was called, a sort of bit of a trim. Um, I don't know why they, they seem to sell them at the same time both some had this sort of trim and others had the, the little bit that sticks out sort of the I don't know I'll call it a spoiler <laughs> a vacuum cleaner spoiler makes it go faster 
So I'm pleased to have the more the one my mum had, but this bag housing is completely wrong colour-wise, but not as wrong as the handle. You can see here the handle, you can see the contrast now between the handle, the top, top part of the handle, and the lower part. Now even this part is not correct. This has gone, I think, lighter. It wasn't as light as this screen, although it would look more attractive. Let's move that, there we go. It would look more attractive if the handle, if the whole machine, sorry, was this colour. But this isn't right either. I'll show you, I think I'll show you what the original colour would have been when I open up the machine. So, two things wrong. We've got the cracked lower cord hook slash carry handle. We've got the broken mains cable. What else is wrong with this Electrolux 502? Well, opening up the bag housing, I can show you what's right because I've already filmed this, so I know what's right and what's wrong inside here. What is right with this machine? It's still got the old sponge donut, needs a clean. And this donut, for some reason, although it's a spongy material, it hasn't deteriorated. If, you, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that a lot of diffusers made of a sort of a, a coarse spongy material tend to just disintegrate when you when you touch them you put your finger through them and they just crumble to dust but for some reason whatever this is made of these always seem to survive and that will survive a light washing and it'll brighten it up i don't know if it was ever white i think it was always this sort of darker color but that's fine so i'm pleased with that so that helps to seal the dust bag there's no dust bag in here now a bit i did film earlier that well, there was no sound <laughs> I filmed sucking out, this has been used I think without a bag for a little bit because there was quite a bit of dirt in the bottom of there. So I removed the filter that you can just see that says top front and under there is a fixed filter. I just got another vacuum, sucked out all the gubbins. So you haven't missed much, that's all I did. Okay, I'll just get uh, a dust bag. Now we'll switch this machine on. I've got what I think is a non-genuine dust bag, just taken it out of another Electrolux cleaner that I'll show you in this video that you will have seen if you watched my fairly recent Instagram live. So if you don't uh, follow me on Instagram, if you search iBasic on Instagram, you'll find my page there and you'll also find I have a Facebook page also called iBasic. So here's a bag, I'm going to pop it in the top of the bag housing, hopefully We'll get a cloud of dust coming up. That does smell, that bag. It was from a quite a dirty cleaner, another dirty 500 series cleaner that I've got. Okay, oh yes, this is what I would say is more the color this cleaner should be. This color here, I would say, is what you'd expect it to be. So it's on the inside, so you'll find this with cleaners that are faded, changed color. If you, if you take them apart and you look at the inside of them, they tend to survive whatever's caused the uh, colour to change. It could, be, it could have been left in bright sunlight. It also could be a combination of heat and cold if it's stored in an attic. I believe this one was stored in a shed for many years. So sheds get very hot in summer and very cold in winter, so that won't have done this plastic any good, which is why it is considerably faded. Now the cleaner head has got some battle scars, but they're not as deep as the battle scars on my other 502. But then again, I think that's a better colour than this. It's a shame I should have got them out, but it's somewhere in storage, my other 502. Another thing that Electrolux 500 series cleaners seem to suffer with is the rubber, and that's, oh, that's gone a bit funny, the uh, rubber furniture guard if it's made of rubber i'm not sure they always seem to perish now i've been very lucky on my electrolux 504 and my 506 and my 560 the furniture guard seems to have survived on all of those cleaners but you can see this isn't too bad this is more this looks more like wear from being knocked into the furniture but often it is starting to crack i think this is rubber and rubber unless it's looked after will start to crack and often you'll find these cleaners on eBay with no furniture guard at all because they've completely perished and they've, they've just taken them off. So that's something that you always suffer from. And for some reason, and it's funny because the cleaner I'm, I'm going to show you later in this video has done the same. 
and I thought oh perhaps it's got a protective cover over it it looked like it's it's got all cloudy where it says Electrolux and I'm not really sure why it's done that because I was trying to pick away at my other Electrolux it's done the same thing and I'm thinking has it got a very thin I still don't know I don't want to damage it anymore it's coming away a bit so you know that's not too good I'm sure the one on my other 502 is better we'll have a quick look underneath I've not looked underneath yet well looks much like I expected it to look this I would say again is the original color some machines would have had a brown I think my mum's had a brown motor cover this after you've removed the plate here two screws you get access to the motor cover several screws to remove but that is actually color matching the cleaner so this could be an earlier version ah it's got the beta bars just like my mum's had but oh, very very this has had a hard life very very worn brushes especially here there's hardly anything left look at that I've never seen any as bad as that so I've, I haven't got high hopes that this cleaner's going to sound too good if the brushes are that worn down the motor's probably been used for quite a while but yeah that's not not too good but we'll give it a go anyway and yeah definitely will need a belt change for sure that doesn't feel very good and possibly bearing changes I've got some spare bearings for this but it'll do for now I'll switch it on let's move those clips over that's it the machine upright we can see the suction control at the back maximum medium minimum so that reduces suction at the cleaner head if you're cleaning lightweight rubber backed carpets or rugs or whatever normal use leave it on max and this will probably spew out some dirt i expect yep yep this is the hose port obviously where you fit the optional cleaning tools but that's all all correct that's in one piece so that's in pretty good condition actually that particular part and at the top of the bag door we've got the adjustable whistling oh that's very stiff that will need taking apart I can't even move it past three it is supposed to whistle it's more of a low pitch tone it's supposed to whistle when the bags full but uh, never very accurate I'll have to do I have to clean these up properly and you can hear what they sound like because I've never got one of these to make a whistling sound on any of my videos featuring the machines that have this device on obviously my electronic versions have the electronic control here instead of the the bag check indicator okay well we've waffled on enough it's time to switch this cleaner on so we've got the thumb operated on off switch so that's the on position so as this has been stored in a shed the customer, the customer, the seller said it worked, but mm. I'll just have a quick look at the plug. Yeah, well, at least it's it's wired in correctly here. The uh, cord grip is gripping the outer insulation, which is a good sign. Okay, folks, let's see if this rather faded, dirty old Electrolux actually works. But I'm not. Uh, I haven't got high hopes. <laughs> No, that's not very good. That is not what it should sound like at all. I'm sure my other one sounds better than this, so it could be a motor swap needed. Clearly a belt change is, is required, definitely. Unless that's got the very extra gentle setting. Deary me. She's rough, 
she's a ruffian she doesn't sound very good I don't want anything to explode where's the suppressor in these I think the suppressor is by the motor <laughs> Ooh. Right, I'm plugging that. Yeah, it's got some suction. But there you go. As I said, I bought this as a donor machine, really, but I don't know how much of this will be donated to my other 502. I'm certainly sure that the, the other 502 is a much better colour than this one, but as I said, I'll experiment with retro brighting if we get some sunshine in the summer. I'll show you another Electrolux before I go. Mm. Now this one sounds a lot better I haven't actually made an unboxing video for this I wanted to unbox it because it came in some very poor packaging and I, I couldn't record it at the time and the first time I switched this on was on my Instagram uh, Instagram live I actually turned this on for the first time I cleaned it up it didn't look as good as this this is still this still needs a proper strip down but it has had a clean and a bit of a polish this is the Electrox 502S for Super. And I always wondered, why did they call it S? Because to my mind, it was no different to the 502. They've cheapened it slightly. The 502 has got a metal catch here. The 502S, they've gone to plastic. But it's more or less the same cleaner. It does have a more powerful motor. I always thought the 502 had a 500 watt motor and I, I'll have to check on the video. I think the other 502 I've got has got a 500 watt motor. This one though, according to the rating plate, is 425 watts and the Electrolux 502S is 500. So that would explain why they called it 502S, 502 Super, because it had you know, slightly more powerful 75 watts. I don't know how much extra power we'll get from 75 watts but there was a difference I'm not sure if the later 502s did have a 500 watt motor and the early ones started with 425 I always thought they were called I thought the 500 series were called 500 because of the 500 watt motor so I've learned something today that I didn't know but again it'd be interesting to see if I do make another video when I get my other 502 out and I'll show you what I've done with the two machines be interesting to look at the rating sticker on that or the rating metal rating plate they have not a sticker so yeah this is the 502s later obviously this was um, I think this was introduced probably in the early 80s 80 81 um, just just to replace just to update slightly as Hoover often did with their cleaners they just updated the color schemes so this probably is a bit more 70s looking with the avocado so to make it a bit more up to date in 80s they decided to go with this cream and brown and this this one has faded as well the bag the top half of this cleaner is in lovely lovely condition lovely condition the bottom half isn't too bad but I'm not sure if it picks up on camera but it has faded a bit I don't think I'll attempt retro brighting this one it is pretty good and as you could hear the motor does sound a lot healthier than the motor on the this poor old 502 that spent a lot of its life in a shed so there you go two Electrolux cleaners the 502s and the Electrolux 502 so makes a nice lineup 502 502s I've got 504 and then the 506 and then the 560 so all based on the 500 body pretty good dependable cleaners and a bit more sophisticated than the offerings from Hoover back in the day if you have any comments or questions about either of these Electrolux cleaners please comment below and I'll see you all soon for the next video bye for now